Uh, you want me to give a quick welcome? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. I uh, want to say uh, first of all, it's it's it's. Uh, I can't tell you how great it is to be back. It's unbelievable. And uh, and uh, my wife, Deanna, and Madison and Jake are they're so jacked up about being back and. Uh, Coming home and coming back to Miami, it's a great thing, and uh, and I'm just I'm just pumped up. My friend told me, a good friend of mine said, uh, just tell him that you had a long haggling contract dispute with Coach Golden, and and we finally agreed to another 27 year contract. All right, how's that sound? So, uh, but but I I'm this whole deal came through and. Uh, I started talking to Coach Golden, and we kept it quiet for a while. And he just kept talking about his vision, and he kept talking about his plan for the University of Miami. And uh, it didn't matter whether it was off-season recruiting, the way they practice, the way they go about their business, and and uh, and it got it got me so pumped up. It, uh, that's the whole deal. Coach Golden is a leader. And the staff, I kept reading about them and kept looking them up on the website, is a bunch of terrific guys. They have, they have what it takes, and we're going to win. And, and I, I, I love Miami. I love the University of Miami, and I wanted to come back. But Al Golden's vision, Al Golden's plan for what we're going to do here at Miami is got me over the top. And I want to thank uh, Kirby Holcutt and, and – uh, and Paul Damari and Bernie Kosar, the people that picked this guy, because you got a winner. And it all starts at the top, and he has a great plan. And I was born and raised in Philadelphia, and I saw uh, I saw Temple football. Temple's a great school, but they've, <laughs> to say mildly, they've struggled in football. And what he accomplished there is is just amazing. And and uh, and uh, you're going to find out. I think the best way to put it is to say that the only the only variable between the University of Miami going back to the top is time. I don't know how long it's going to take, but it is going to get done under Al Golden. And uh, I'm excited. Uh, Jed Fish and, and uh, our whole offensive staff, I love these guys. I love what we're going to do. I love the... Uh, the organization we're already before we've completed our recruiting for this year we're already and I just got in so I couldn't help very much <laughs> coach golden told me not to screw any of the guys up I don't want to you know just don't try to mess up any recruit recruiting but I uh I think it's great what's going on in every facet for next year for for recruiting over the long haul and we're we're already on a bunch of projects, the plan he has is great, and that's all we talked about. And I kept telling Deanna, I said, I said, D, I got to get back on board. And I didn't know really whether I was going to get the job, so I kind of unleashed Hurricane Nation. I went out and called every coach I worked for, every coach I played for, or I coached with, every player that I played with, every player that I coached. I called every alumni. Board of Trustee, every person that was close to me in in this whole environment at the University of Miami, and uh, 
And uh, I think he got the message because the next day he called me and he said, whoa, Art, stop it. It's a blitzkrieg, you know. And uh, and, I, and so we, we have a, a good relationship. And like I said, I can't I don't know how else to explain it. If you don't if you're not involved with what we're doing, whether it concerns recruiting off the field, uh, weightlifting, our classroom, the competitive atmosphere we're going to have. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what our schedule is for next year, but someone was saying it could be early on a, a little slice of Virginia Tech and Florida State and and Ohio State and Kansas State. And, and I say, let's get it on, baby, because we got to get ready. And well, other than that, I just want to tell you, from the, my heart and soul, to be back in Miami is a wonderful thing. And my family, uh, my son is uh, now six years old, Jake, and uh, and he asked Deanna the other day, "Hey, mom, because he played basketball and football for the first time, he says, do they have football and basketball down there in Miami?" And she said, "No, Jake, they don't have it." But uh, she was all, he's all, he's all gunned up. Madison's all gunned up, and. And uh, the Kehoe family is is very, very grateful to a lot of people. I am so grateful to a lot of people I have to talk to. And I have to I have to write a lot of letters as soon as I can catch a breath here. i could got to make a lot of phone calls. They're switching me over from, uh, you know, my old cell phone to my new cell phone, uh, computer to another computer. And nowadays you get a new job and you got to be ITT involved in uh, – and uh, I'm way, way behind right now, and and uh, it's it's been kind of interesting because I think I think I had like 85 text messages and 69 voicemails, and I'm trying to get to them, but it's it's hard. But I, I you know, the the her the Kane Nation came forward, you know, for for Art Keo, and I appreciate it. Well, that's a good question. I just say that, uh, you know, I always consider myself like uh, like a soldier, like a sergeant, a guy that's in the trenches, and and uh, but and I always consider myself very lucky to be under the coaches and the and the players that we had. So many good teams and players and coaches, and you get spoiled. And uh, but it never left me, and it will never leave me. And uh, it was. Uh, it was tough to deal with, but coming back is, you know, <laughs> I see Bobby revealing the equipment room and and uh, and Andrew Swayze in the, in the weight room and and Scott in the training room and uh, you know that there's still remnants of what's behind. But Coach Golden's brought in a, a a nice staff and whether it's operations or the coaches themselves, uh, and I know we have good academic support and. Uh, I, these guys yeah, just, you know, we t- we've been talking about it. I'm playing catch up. I just got in this week, and we have this the national signing date, of course, on Wednesday. And and a lot of these guys, uh, I, I'm I'm looking at quick shots of film on them and trying to play catch up and put it together and make calls. So so you know, you're, you're, you if you haven't met their parents, if you haven't been with their coaches, you know, you're a little bit behind and. Uh, and they've done a, a really good job of playing catch up. And for me, I'm just listening and learning about you know some of their theories. They have some great ideas on recruiting too. And uh, and I I just like what's going on. I mean, we're we're actively going to seek out uh, whether it's whether it's uh, having junior days, having walk on days, and uh, and it's it's things that. You know, Miami being such a, a good private school and it's so expensive, it, 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 you wouldn't think that that would be a good approach for walk-ons. But but uh, until you put it in front of them, you never know what kind of a package can be worked out financially, or or whether you know they can handle it themselves. And and there's got there's people out there, you know, uh, and and. Uh, and he was doing this because because he was at Temple and he fought like crazy to get it over the top. So now you put it at a place like this and and, uh, 
and he knows that you know this guy is fiercely competitive. You know, I I I read that both him and Mark D'Onofrio were captains of their team at Penn State, and uh, and they talked about a couple games that we played against each other, and uh, and man, they were great games, but the Penn State games, and just to know what that's about, I was captain here with Jim Burt, and Jim Burt helped me out with this job, and you know, Clem Barbarino and Don Bailey helped me out. And they're just a few of the. There's so many people that helped me, and you know, you talk about about you know what it meant to me. I you know I don't know how 27 years playing and coaching and being a graduate assistant. I don't know how and winning as much as we did that you could possibly ever get it out of your system. And trust me, it never left. Well, uh, as soon as uh, Coach Stoutland, and he's done a good job, everybody I've talked to around here talks about what a great job Jeff has done acquiring talent and coaching these kids and everybody in all areas, you know, because I'm trying to find out about my old linemen. And, and, uh, you know, I have uh, Anna gave me like playing cards of them so I write notes on the back and I you know because we're limited with our meeting time and stuff and I'm getting to meet everybody and uh but anyway uh uh I met him because coach I heard that coach Stoutland was leaving and then and then uh we got in touch with each other early and we kept it a secret which is kind of hard to do nowadays and uh and and I was glad because usually you know, I check that football scoop and everything and there's you know nowadays with the social networking it's hard to keep any secrets and and uh and we well, the first time I met him <laughs> you know we, I talked to him on the phone for about 45 minutes the first time and I I just hung the phone up and I I looked at Deanna and I said wow you know this guy he's got it you know and and just you know he kept right he go right down he he wanted to grasp the tradition you know that's what his his big thing was is about is about art man oh my goodness five national titles you guys played for about 11 of them and and you had so many good players and so many good coaches come through here and uh he says, it's just, I'm so jacked about it. And then we got to get this and this and this. And he just kept talking and I'm going, uh, I just said, I said, D, I got to get back on board that thing right now. We got to do whatever it takes. And, uh, and that's what we did. And but it's funny. Uh, I got this little gash here on my face, uh, the night before we met in Greenwood, Mississippi, you know, cause they were Paul Williams, the DB coach. They were recruiting a kid out there. Oh, I guess I'm not allowed to. Sorry, I'm not allowed to bring. I'm sorry, but anyway, he, there was a guy in Greenwood that we were recruiting, and and uh, he went and met with me there. And the night before, I was playing some tag with my my son Jake, and he picked up a like a heavy bottle and threw it at me, and the bottom of it hit my my cheek here. So I spent about nine hours in the emergency ward. You know, when when I was uh, down at. Uh, down in Oxford, Mississippi, and then I had to drive two and a half hours, and I had this big Band-Aid gash on my face. And I said, come on, Coach, let's get it on, man. He sat down, he looked right, he looked me right in the eye, and he said, you know, I remember playing against your, you up in Charlottesville when I was a D coordinator, and, and he said, we had a bunch of good players, a bunch of them went to the NFL, and he said, I thought your old line he said, my guys told me that your old line just got after him and 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 it was it was by far the most physical line they had and, and I said well good that's a good thing and uh and uh, and then we started talking and it just it was relentless we were having lunch and 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 it was just constant just talking about Miami what they've done what they've accomplished what we can do what's the plan how we're going to get this done boom he just kept he has it and he's going to get it done and I believe that this was going to happen. It's just a matter of time, and and I don't even know what's out there in that practice field. It doesn't matter. We've got a leader, and he is got the goods, and we're going to win. And we got a heck of a staff, and we're going to find a way to win. And I know what's out there is probably Florida tough and ready. So, 
you know, we've we have kids from from here that that could run and and uh, the combination of what what he's going to do and what his plan is and the people he has behind him is going to get this done.